What the Palace Hub has done, and Palace Arts, I guess, is it's brought a community of artists together because we all help out in some capacity in the gallery, whether that's invigilating, hanging work, um, helping for openings and that kind of thing. So I think in doing that, you, you kind of, you, you cement kind of a bond with people that are in the same kind of bubble as you. Um, hopefully it's not kind of elitist. I mean, that's the thing that art can be seen as, or the perception of art is it's elitist. And I think we, we try to break that down. So a lot of the work is, um, it's, it's, it's very varied, which is good. You know, it's not just one style of artwork. So I guess you could come into the gallery and you, you may like 10% and the rest is so-so. And that's, again, what art is about. It's, it's individual preference as well. So I think that's good, good for the local community as well, because there is local artists that are not professional, that are just amateurs, so they can see their work on the wall. And some of them probably haven't even seen the work on, on a wall before. And that gives them great kind of an uplift, really. You know, because I've probably travelled quite a bit and I've seen, I've lived in different countries, so I kind of understand art. I've lived in like China for a while as well, so that's the other extreme. You know, and art and life is integral. Life, art, living is all one thing, where I think in the, in the West, generally, we see art as a separate thing. It's something that you do separate to living yeah. and work. And then there's like, there might be something pleasurable like art going on. But I think in Western culture, whether it's lighting joysticks or whether it's doing Tai Chi on a morning, is that, that's art. You know, that's a kind of enhancing your day in some way. And we, we don't tend to do that. We tend to get up, you know, bleary eyed, thinking, oh, what do I do? What do we eat for breakfast? You know, and then stumble through the day. We don't necessarily think of our spiritual side, I think. And that's something that we could do better at as well, I think. And everything's designed, isn't it? You know, that's the other thing that I, you kind of realise that everything that you touch and feel, this cup's being designed, the chair, all of this, someone sat down somewhere and actually designed it, you know, and it, and that's something we just take for granted. We, do, we just we just sit and we drink out of a cup and, you know, how does it keep warm? It's got to, you know, why is this so hot? What's the height of that? Why is that high? You know, we, we, just, we just consume lots of stuff that we don't actually kind of realise it as all being designed by someone. And that is how broad art is and design. It's just, it's infinite. It just goes on and on.